Converting units of mass. We're converting kilograms to tons or tons to kilograms or grams to milligrams or milligrams to grams or even milligrams all the way to kilograms. How is it done? Let's see how. We follow a simple process. It's converting units of mass. We follow the process here and we'll get it all correctly straight away. The process says that if we want to go from milligrams to grams, we have to divide by a thousand. And if we want to go from grams to kilograms, we have to divide by a thousand. And to go from kilograms to tons, guess what? We have to divide by a thousand. Why a thousand? Because there are a thousand milligrams in a gram. And there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. And there are a thousand kilograms in a ton. Very important for us to know. So, let's see how it's done. We either divide or if we are going backwards, we actually times. Let's see. Here, we're going to be converting large units of mass to smaller units of mass. Converting large to small, we multiply by a thousand for all of them. Let's see how it's done. Grams to milligrams, we times by a thousand. Very straightforward. 60 times a thousand, 60 thousand milligrams in 60 grams. Very small unit. 60 grams has 60,000 milligrams. 4.5 kilograms to grams. Again, kilograms to grams, we multiply by a thousand. Multiply by a thousand, 4,500 grams. You can use your calculator or you can Simply do it this way, times by a thousand, we move the point three times to the right, one, two, three, four thousand and five hundred, four thousand and five hundred grams. Seven point four tons, how many kilograms is seven point four tons? Tons to kilograms, we times by a thousand, seven thousand and four hundred kilograms. There are 7,400 kilograms in 7.4 tons. 0 0.02 kilograms. How many milligrams is that? We're going from kilograms all the way to milligrams. So it's two stages. We have to go from kilograms to grams times by a thousand. And again from grams to milligrams times by another thousand. So in reality we're timesing by a million. 0 0.02 times a million, we would like to do it, and we time by a million, so we're jumping six times, one, two, three, one, two, three, there are six zeros, we jump to the right six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to put our point right there, so we're going to have two and one, two, three, four zeros. 20,000 milligrams in 0 0.02 kilograms. One more, 0 0.04 tons. How many grams is that? We're going from tons all the way to grams. So again, two stages. Tons to kilograms first, times by a thousand, and then kilograms to grams times another thousand. So once again, we're multiplying by a thousand times a thousand, which is a million, six zeros, we can use our calculator or we can do it manually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our point's going to go there. We're going to add zeros here. So in, in reality, 4,000 grams is the same as 0 0.004 tons. So this is the way of how to convert large units of mass to small units of mass. Now I'm going to show you the other way around, going from small units of mass to large units of mass. Now we are converting from a small unit to a large unit of mass. We're going from milligrams to grams in this example. Going from milligrams to grams, we notice we have to divide by a thousand. Four thousand milligrams divided by a thousand is 
four grams. So four grams has 4,000 milligrams. Very small unit the milligrams is. In this here, we're going from kilograms to tons. Again, from a small unit of mass to a larger unit of mass. We're going from kilograms to tons. Kilograms to tons. The process says we have to divide by a thousand. 565 kilograms divided by a thousand. 0 0.565 tons. 565 divided by a thousand. Put in your calculator and you get 0 0.565. 425 grams. We want to go from grams to kilograms. Again, we are going to a small, a, to a larger unit, so we are dividing by a thousand, which becomes 0 0.425, 0 0.425 kilograms. Last example, we're going from milligrams all the way to kilograms. 16,200 milligrams, how many kilograms is that? We're going, and it's a two-stage process because we have to go through grams and then to kilograms, so we divide by a thousand to go to grams and divide by another thousand to go to kilograms. So in reality, we are dividing by a million. There are six zeros. So 16,200, the point is normally here. We're going, because we're dividing, we're going to the left. Three zeros, three zeros, six zeros all together. We're going back six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our point is going to go there. We're going to have to add a zero there. Zero point, zero point, zero one six two. Zero one six two kilograms. 16,200 milligrams is zero point 0.0162 kilograms. Here, you can tell that I do a lot of examples. Why? So you can understand it and get better at it. The more examples you, I do for you, the easier it will become. And you'll notice it is not hard at all. If you follow the process, you'll always get it right. I always tell my students, follow the rules. Maths is all about rules. Follow the rules, you never go wrong. You just have to follow them and you'll notice the answer is simple once you memorize or understand the process, you follow it bit by bit, and at the end you'll get the answer straight away.